the reason that I wanted to to talk to you is because I think maybe more than anyone else, you have been able to carve out a career in music despite being what I guess I would call a free thinker. You know, other people may have less charitable names for you. Oh uh, yeah, that's fine. But uh, that's that's, be that's because you're a free thinker, or I'm a free. Exactly. Thinker. If if you if you upset people, if you have ideas that challenge other people's preconceived notions, uh, that upsets them. And if that upsets them, then they're going to most likely attack with an ad hominem. You know, and, and to be yeah. honest with you, most likely they're going to talk about like. Um, I haven't put out anything good since the fall of ideals. Like that's 99% of my criticism is like, Hey, the fall of ideals was great. And everything else has sucked. Even though we're talking about something completely different, you know, <laughs> or what inspired them something. to come at me is, is, is completely different, you know? Yeah. And I guess, you know, it seems to me like it gets harder and harder every year to kind of have dissenting opinions to the point where like, I'm legitimately kind of surprised that all that remains isn't like blackballed. Um, well, the thing is, I think that I separate all that remains from myself, right? Like other people in all that remains have historically not been, you know, have, have historically had their own opinions that were not in line with mine. It's not like the sure. band is a political band. I don't get on the only political statements I've ever made from stage is I wore a Ron Paul shirt back in 2012 and I made comments about legalizing marijuana in, in Colorado when they first did it. And that's it. That's the only political statements I've ever made in the All That Remains context. There are a couple songs that get into political themes, but they're not overtly political. Um, and most of the stuff that people know us for is more of our love songs, honestly. You know, people even because even when people know us because of six, six is a love song, you know, so. Well, that's easier said than done, though, because you know, for better, or for worse, you know, the front man is kind of synonymous with a band 99% mm -hmm. of the time. So, you know, you can say, well, this is just my opinion. I don't represent the band, but it's pretty hard to actually pull that off. And I, I think that you have really kind of been able to do that, which is amazing. Well, I, I appreciate that. And I try the part that's sad to me, I guess, is just that I feel like it, it's sort of, in, in music now, at least at least in our genre, but probably everywhere, it's sort of like conformity packaged as nonconformity. Like, yeah. you're allowed to be a rebel and a free thinker as long as you rebel and think freely in exactly the same way as me and my friends. And if you disagree with us, you're a horrible person. Yeah, that when you get to more authoritarian and totalitarian ideologies, which are which exist on both the right and the left, um, they get very, very exclusionary and very, very, uh, they police their own ranks very, very, you know, uh, very well. I mean, to be honest with you, I've dealt with that or I've, I think that I've been cognizant of that all of my life because when I was growing up and I was, so I come from, you know, New England, metalcore scene was popping off when I was in bands and I was, you know, I was one of the guys that was in that you know, starting that stuff off. And I was in, I was in shadows fall and, and I was playing guitar with guys in kill switch engage before kill switch engage was kill switch engage, you know? So like I was there and there was a lot of left leaning militant bands. I, I remember, you know, earth Christ, I've gone to see earth crisis. And if you, I just re looked at a uh, firestorm recently no i would not categorize them as left-leaning to be fair <laughs> really with the, with the vegan see to me the the straight edge vegan um the political stuff that they were that they but a lot about. of those bands were also pro-life was was were they i did not know that yeah okay, yeah like abnegation had that song everyone hated with the chorus is like a fetus is a life oh okay no there I, was a I, lot of pro-life stuff in the i, in like I imagine the straight edge scene Pro Snapcase was probably like a, a pro life. I imagine if there wasn't the Krishna bands were were you know definitely mm -hmm. pro life stuff. But even yeah. still, there was even still that wasn't from a religious perspective. None of them were, were right. Christians, or, right. or and none of them were what you would consider a traditionalist. So maybe they would make a pro life argument. And to be honest with you, I think that there there is a a pro life argument to be made from the left that you don't hear in the United States very much. But I do believe that there is a pro life argument 